Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel AgriAddict. So based on the student request, I am making this video where I will be explaining in detail about how to apply for this ICR PG exam 2024. So the criteria or the procedure for both PG and PhD exams application is more or less same. But there is some specific confusion with respect to the PhD application where in case of post graduation details the 2023 year is not in, not displaying so this will be informed and ratified very soon so the all the updates will be provided in our youtube channel and also in all our social media platforms so subscribe our youtube channel and join our social media platforms to get all the updates so in this video i'll be explaining like how to apply for pg application so first thing what you have to do is open any browser in your laptop so i would recommend you to apply through the laptop since it gives the better interface and also you can look at all the details very clearly so i have opened the google chrome now i have to search for a link so you can manually type the link or you can also get the link through the description box and also the link is provided in the information bulleted provided by the nta so the link is exams.nta.ac dot in slash icar and i will just click on the first link so this give us the uh, website of this nta where the application for both pg and the phd is available now i will be clicking on this pg application click here to registration okay so there are now two things so if you have already applied or if you have already registered you will be having the application number if you have the application number you can just directly click on this application number enter your details password and security pin and you can log in or if you are fresh to apply just click on this new candidate registration and click on apply here the students are facing uh, some specific problem with respect to the application number even after successful registration they are not getting the application number immediately so for this sake you need not to wait for the application number from the nta what you can do instead is just click on the forget application number and get the application number immediately i have myself done it two days before and you can follow it you will mostly get the application number instantly okay so if you are new just click on this new candidate register here and you have to click on download the information bulletin to read the complete inform information and the instructions that is provided by this nta so where the eligibility the dates important dates and also instructions are provided here so some of them i will be highlighting in this video and rest you can take it from this pdf okay so coming back just scroll down here you can see the different fee structures for the general obc ews and ups and also scs so based on whichever category you are you can you have to pay the respective fees so just scroll down and you have to tick this button and just click on proceed so once you click on proceed there is another window which asks you for the other card details based on which detail you want to provide you, you can click on any of these like i will be clicking on the first that i have a other card number and i wish to create the login through this other card number so you have to enter your other card number and generate otp and the otp will be sent to the register mobile number to which the other card is linked and you have to enter that otp and by which in the next step you will be getting your application number so since i have already got this application number i'll be going back and i will be directly logging in so here since i have application number i will directly enter my application details and click on login So make sure to remember the password while creating it. Okay. Enter the correct security pin and click on login. So once you are successfully logged in, this is how the website will look like. So first thing is registration is complete. The next steps are filling the application form and lastly it is fee payment. And remember only after the successful fee payment you will be getting a status of applied if you are stuck with the second step uh, your application will not be submitted and you will be not be considered for writing this exam so you have to complete all the three steps now the, my second step is incomplete so i'll click on this application form here so i'll just scroll down and complete my application form here you you have to fill all your details starting with the 10th qualification 12th qualification graduation details in case of this graduation details the students are again confused with whether to click on past or appearing so this confusion is because of the information bulletin details where you can see they have mentioned that 
candidate should note that for admission to the MSc degree programs through this entrance exam conducted by NTA will be only provided to the candidates who have provided who have passed the graduation with the four or six like uh, four or six five years and degree they will be only eligible so this is mentioned in the icr like nta voucher so here you have to note that this is regarding the admission not for the applying for this exam only at the end once you have got your results of this exams to get the admission into the pg program your degree should be completed the four years degree should be completed in case of agricultural disciplines right so this is what they have mentioned so this has been misunderstood by many students and they are thinking that we have to apply or click on or select this past status no if you are in your fourth year now currently in your eighth sem you have to click on appearing and provide the year of passing that it is 2024 and you just have to click on the examination and duration like it is four years 10 plus 2 like 10th 12th and four years degree and place of graduation somewhere whether it is rural or the urban and you have to select the name of your universities mine is i will just select darwad so here it is darwad i'll select darwad and i'll provide the complete institution address so once you fill these details you can enter the captcha and the i hope like there is no confusion with the 10th and 12th details you might have already applied this before also you have to click and enter all of the required details here and you have to enter the captcha and click on i agree and go for next step save and next so this will complete your this step okay next so this completes the one step the next step is about the employment details since you are students you can just click on unemployed click on 94 like uh, enter the captcha again save and next so now you have to upload the photo signature category certificate and thumb impression and the format it should be in the jpg or jpeg for all the four different sections and the size already they have mentioned the size and the format they have mentioned the file that you are going to upload should match these conditions okay i'll be uploading my details here photo is uploaded just upload signature keep all of these things ready before applying and just check the details like it should be in the jpeg and jpg and the size should be 10 to 100 for photo 4 to 100 for uh, signature and for category it is 30 to 150 and lastly for the thumb impression it should be 4 to 100 next category certificate Even if you upload in the PDF documents, the PDF documents is allowed for the CAS certificate. Above the photo and signature, it should be in the JPG or JPEG and the category certificate, it should be in the PDF format. Next thumb impression again in the photo format. So I have uploaded all the four different required files. I'll just click on save and next. So that will give us the last place where you have to verify your details again whatever details that you have filled just verify from this particular tab and if you want to make any changes here you can just click on make the changes okay so once it is done you have to click on verify your mobile number and verify your mobile number before you make the payment okay
and while filling the registration form you will be also asked for to enter the choice for your exam center irrespective of where you enter your current address and the permanent address the choice of center will be as per your priority so whatever priority we will give as per that you will be getting the center name okay center location so not not to worry about like whether to fill the permanent address or the correspondence address near to your center or not you need not to worry about it whatever address you have you are just fill it and in this choice for exam center fill the exam center where you want to write your exams give the four priority and within that you will be getting your location for writing this exam so once you verify all of these things just click on please verify the mobile number and enter the captcha and just click on send otp so the otp will be sent to your registered mobile number you have to check your mobile and enter the otp so once it is done mobile number is verified i have to come click on again complete verification uh, complete application form click on it so once you verify your mobile number so if you just click on next so this is how it will appear now just verify your details before the final submit like candidate name date of birth father and mother name gender domicile to which state you belong to and candidate email address so this is also very much important your present address and the permanent address so the present and the permanent address here the students are confused like what to put whether to put same address in both the columns or the different one so this is nothing to do with your exam center you can put the any address that where you are living in the exam choice center that will be based on the priority that you are give, going to give while filling the registration form based on that within that four options you will be allocated to the allocating yourself to that location for writing the exams so you need not to worry about that so choice of exam centers the four different centers that you are given within that you will be allocated so once all of these details are done if there are any mistakes you can just click go up, go back and make the necessary changes and once everything is correct you have to click on final submit so here just tick all of the boxes if you have checked them clearly so since i have checked everything i will click on everything and i'll just click on final submit so i have finally submitted so the last step is paying paying the respective fees i have to click on pay now and i have to pay the fees so i'll just click on you can choose any hdfc or the canara, canara bank irrespective of which bank like your savings account is that is nothing to do with that you can click on any of those i'll be, i'll be clicking on canara and you can either use the credit card debit card net banking upi or you can directly use the qr code okay so i'll be using this credit card and i will be filling the details So once it is done, click on make payment. Enter the OTP that is received. I'll enter it. So once the payment is successful, so you will get to see this. status where the payment status is success and check the payment status is also you can click on this and you can check your payment status here and once it is done so you can just click on dashboard you can you have to click on this download application and make sure to the download this registered application form like once you have made made the final submit just click on it and save this in your mobile or the laptop in from whichever you are applying and make a the rename it correctly so that you won't be confused and uh, it will be easy for you to search later pg i will write it as pc application form twenty 2024 and just make sure to save this okay this is very much necessary just make sure to save your application once it is finally submitted so i'll just show you like how it will look like once you submit the application that's it so you can clearly verify your details here the name and everything 
name your details your uh, parents details and domicile details and all other details so if you have made any mistakes in this application form after 13 before 13 the application will be closed after 13 you can change your details if there are any changes to make you can definitely do it after that so make sure to remember the date it is after 13 okay so this is the this is how it will look like once you have successfully applied for this application so th that's it for today's video i hope like i have clearly explained each and every step in detail like how to apply for your pg form so if you have any queries regarding regarding applying for this pg or phd exams you can comment on this video and we'll surely help you with this thank you for watching subscribe youtube channel for more engaging content thank you